Hi, Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections here, doing a demonstration on the Wallabot, getting close, the Wallabot DIY wall scanner. This is basically a, it's, it's a stud finder for Android phones. They don't have a version that works with iPhones. But uh, I had heard about this a while ago, and the price dropped significantly. They dropped this down to 50 bucks, And I had some other people in my company asking about this, and I said, you know what, i got to try this out. we we got to see if this really is all that it's cracked up to be. Because it says on the package here it'll work on drywall and concrete, and you can scan through walls to not only find studs, but you can find pipes and electrical wiring in your walls too. And, you know, the, the way they make it look, I've seen the web ad advertisements for this, and they make it look like you can clearly see the studs right where they are and like better than any stud finder out there. And so I'm going to test it out. To start out, I'll tell you, the way it connects is they, they give you two cables. They either give you a micro USB to USB-C or they give you a micro USB to micro USB. So whichever one your phone has, it, it should be compatible. And, well... That's all I can think of. I'm going to test it out on this wall. I've got an open wall here. I've got a bunch of studs. I've got some uh, PAX tubing here. This is for my urinal install. If you follow my blog at all, you know I did that many years ago. Threw a urinal in my basement. And I've got, uh, I've got some electrical cable sitting around here. Yeah. Here it is. This is not connected. And I was curious whether it's going to find electrical cable if it's not energized. So I'm going to just throw this up on the wall here and I'm going to put some drywall over this and then I will clearly mark the drywall so we can see where it is while I'm scanning it with my phone. So let's get to work. Okay, so now I have put up some drywall on my wall. I've got my wall about here. I'm ready to connect it to my phone. And it's got this little gel pad on the back. The way it works is you put your wall about against the back of your phone, and that gel pad kind of holds it in place, keeps the two from moving around. And this is how you use it. You use them in conjunction with each other, and whatever it's displaying on your phone is exactly what it's supposed to be on the other side, at least something close to that. So I'll go ahead and, uh, let's see, I'll turn my phone on here, we'll plug this in, and it should wake up the wall about. Yep, I see the little blue light goes on on the bottom of that as soon as I do it. And then it tells me on the phone right away, the, it's, it's connected, do we want to connect? We'll say use it by default, yes. And, well, I thought it was going to open the app. Yes, it didn't. I'll open it manually. It's connected. And it's, the first thing it tells you to do, it wants you to calibrate. It needs to do this every time you open the app. So we'll go ahead and do that. Hit start scan. And it says you need to move it in a big circular motion on your wall. It doesn't say whether you're supposed to you know, go over where you know studs are or not. And I, I suppose it wouldn't make sense to say that because, well, <laughs> you're not going to know. So uh, it's asking me to rate it. How about not now? All right, so now it's calibrated. And now I'm ready to start scanning on the wall. So it's, uh, and, and this is the pan mode. This is where it's supposed to lay out where all of your studs are. So we'll start right at the edge of the wall. We'll hold this down to start scanning, and you just start moving it to the side. And it's supposed to kind of give you a, a little plot of what it is that you're finding on the wall here. All right. And I don't know what I'm supposed to make of this. This is not easy to interpret. I don't know. May oh boy, I'm getting text. Uh, maybe if I had a much longer wall, maybe the studs would be more obvious. I don't know. I've tried a couple of different walls. It hasn't worked super well, super well for me. But there's that. Uh, the images part, though, this seems to work pretty well. Um, and this is where you flip over to images, and it's supposed to just kind of show you what you're finding right on the screen. This is this is the big part that I, I thought looked so cool. As we come across, here's the water pipe. It's not quite straight. Maybe if I turn this a little, there. That's pretty close to where the water pipe is. As we keep moving over, there's the stud. 
And I know that they say this isn't, this isn't designed to find the exact center of the stud, but I found it to be pretty accurate. So there's a stud, we'll keep moving over, there's another pipe. And now I've got some dead electrical wiring inside the wall here. I'm going to move it down. We'll see if it finds that. It does find it. That is pretty darn accurate. And we've got another stud. And then it's got another, uh, another mode that you can switch over to called expert mode. And well, I'll, I'll show you what that looks like. It's where it just kind of gives you a big old blob. And they say in their DIY videos to start at about 80% or so. And that's where you can find the exact center of stuff. I have not found this to be especially useful. I, I haven't been able to figure out exactly how to do that. I mean, it's not, it's not bad. But that, that other line that it showed before, when, when I was in uh, the, what was it, the images mode, this seemed to be just as accurate. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe somebody smarter than me can figure out why you would need expert mode. I haven't figured it out. Seems to work just fine in the pan mode for me. And, uh, oh, and images mode, excuse me. The pan mode, not so great. But, uh... That's about it. So it's, it's definitely cooler than a stud finder. I have not tried this on the concrete mode. All I've tried is the drywall mode. So in the concrete mode, my assumption is that this is going to work on lath and plaster, but I, I haven't tested it on any of those homes yet. That's it. That's my uh, quick little review and demonstration of the Wallabot stud finder. Thanks for watching.